Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and you're looking at the uh, Warfighter uh, expansion Footlocker. Um, I just finished opening the base game and slating all my cards, um, reading the new Mega Blair version 2 rulebook. And so I'm going to punch my counters. So it's kind of backwards here. I uh, had played Warfighter before uh, when it first came out. I've got the, uh, the uh, base set and the first what was it, four, four expansions. I think there were three decks and the bullet dice, the extra bullet dice. I had painted the figures. Not that they're great figures, but I had kind of given them a little wash uh, for Desert and... Uh, jungle effects and then I was done with it I it didn't click for me and uh, there's an article I wrote uh, you know games that didn't click and I explained why and and I didn't I never hated the game I actually liked the game I just I think I got frustrated uh, I think I might have been a little premature um, so the, the kind people at, uh, Dan Versen Games, uh, decided to let me take another look at it with all the new, all the new goodies that they've gotten and the, uh, the improvements. So, uh, uh, I, since I had everything, I just kind of threw everything together, uh, before, and I think I was overwhelmed it was probably a better, a better way of putting it. Um, just... Too many options, too much, too much unclear for me as to what I was supposed to do, and uh, got a little frustrated with it. Um, but again, never hated it. Just I felt it was probably above me, maybe. So anyway, um, my plan now is to start with the base set, not add any of the expansions, just kind of play through a couple of games with just the base set, but I do know that here in the box, and it's a huge heavy box, is the better board. Um, I, something else I had done, I'd even made the little, uh, uh, little trays to, uh, to do the locations on, and they were pretty popular for a while, and then that evolved into a better, better board design, and I know this has a good board in it. Uh, this has a good card storage, obviously the Foot Locker, and it has a uh, uh, a DVG a DVG tray, which is the deeper tray, which I didn't have at the time. I fit everything into a GMT tray, so I'm kind of kind of cheat. Even though I'm only going to play the base to start, I'm going to go ahead and open this, kind of do an unboxing. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it before, but I'll offer my commentary here on the uh, on the contents of the Foot Locker, um, and go from there. Uh, because I want to be able to go ahead and sort my tokens and my counters into the right tray and use the board and the card storage. I was a little disappointed, little disappointed, that in the um, second edition box, even though they've got the the uh, uh, new board inside the foot locker, that it still came with the pretty useless paper, paper map. They should have just saved the money, I guess. I, I mean, I guess they had to include it, but, uh, so that was the only letdown. Um, it's a really well-produced, produced game. Um, if you haven't seen it, the, uh, so here's the, here's the map. Very thin. I'm not even going to open it. It's, everybody's seen it before. It's been out for a while. The counters are really nice and thick, so I haven't even punched these yet. In fact, last time I had, uh, I did these. These are real thick and they barely, barely worked with my counter cutter. So, um, I don't know if I'll clip them or corner around them this time. I may just leave them as is. So, I'm going to open this up and, uh, and, uh, get the shrink wrap off and we'll be right back. All right. So, I got the shrink off now and, uh, first thing I'll say it's a very heavy box. Uh, it's also very deep. Uh, I did not expect. I guess I didn't expect this to open like a latch, but I guess I, I don't know, my brain, I was thinking it was, 
a smaller lid so it's actually the the lid is the uh, the full size of the box and there is the box and very good quality very nice obviously got a great new game smell when you open it um, I was saying before that the quality on their product is really good these cards are awesome um, very sturdy I don't think you'd have to sh you'd have to sleeve them I sleeve them because for me it's easier to shuffle so let's, uh, let's move the big lid out of the way there and bring this forward and see what we got here so we have a DVD tray these are awesome um, uh, deeper basically the same scale as the uh, GMT tray just a much better um, a much deeper pocket um, I have I can't get to it right now but I have made um, dividers that go into these uh, made for GMT trays but I've also made them for uh, a deeper deeper tray like this one so that you can divide these into like uh, a third and two thirds you can divide them straight in half or you can divide them into three one third pockets they're very good so we're going to get a copy of the second edition rule book um haven't finished reading this yet but it's supposedly uh definitely more improved the, i remember the first edition rule book was actually pretty good there were just a few little uh unclear things in it right, so we got a scenario book no idea what this is is usually somewhere in the, in the card, so um, okay. Basically, it uh, allows you to, to uh, combine all the uh, cards from all the other expansions uh, and gives you specific setup uh, instructions what soldier, what your year will be. Uh, so that's cool. So you can uh, you can say I'm playing this scenario. How did how did I do? How did you do? Uh, can instead of instead of random. It's pretty darn cool. That'll be nice to, to go through later once I get good at this game. I'm get really good at it. So we have the Foot Locker rule sheet. There's some that tells you what to, what comes in the in the Foot Locker. And again, I'm not going to mess with any of these additional components yet until. Uh, until I've gotten used to the base game again. Um, so we got some replacement cards, uh, location marker cards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember these. I actually, I helped come up with these. This idea, I think. I'm not trying to steal and thunder or anything. I think this was a discussion we were having. Um, yeah, so you don't have to take the action cards out of the deck. Yeah, I remember talking about that. That's cool. Um, Dividers, deep dish tray, scenario book. Uh, it's happy little display board. That's what I want to get to. All right, that's cool. Uh, no shoot counters. Again, really nice and thick. Very good registration on them. Yay, Kira. All right, we got the, the board. Ooh, board, which we'll get to in a second. And then some more cards, obviously the uh, replacement cards. Cool. And some dividers here in the card wells, card box. And that is awesome. I like that the dividers are as high as the as the walls, and then the cards will go down lower. Now, will they fit my sleeved cards? Uh oh, will be a problem. Let's see. Uh, sleeved cards. Yes, 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 they do. Yay! The sleeved cards will be going in. So that's really awesome. Excellent. Because we're dead sleeping for nothing. Right. So that's great. And the plastic here, so very sturdy. So that's 
for now, again, while I'm playing this, it's the board and the storage that I'm most interested in. So, but man, again, DVD does a really, really great quality on their stuff. All right, I'm gonna open up the board and I'll be right back. All right, I'm kind of holding the camera up a little bit, and even then, the board's pretty darn big. Uh, it's six six panels folded out. A two by three. Uh, obviously, the artwork is a lot better than the initial map. Uh, it's longer. Um, intermission timer, set of rules. Um, you got a turn sequence, stack sequence, all the stuff you might need on the board. Your mission card. If I remember calling correctly, you have your mission card, and then when you're ejected, maybe down here, number six. And you're going to work your way through these different locations. And I assume these are for the hostels. You've got uh, basically, instead of, you see with these sections here, but um, the card size sections here, but then here you've got just a row for the hostels. And that helps because one of the things that was that was very hard was when the on the old map was you were turning cards sideways and doing all kinds of weird things with it and uh, just didn't you know didn't flow very well. So I had the little location sleds that I invented where uh, I don't have them anymore. Because when I sold my copy, I gave him with the I sent him with a copy, but uh, it was basically a piece of card cardstock with a uh, print on, on it and uh, you put the location card and then you have five spaces for hostels and then when you were done you could slide it to the side and bring in you know the next location uh, and you could work your way across them because usually once you've you know once you've gone past two and three and four once you get to about four you're probably not going to go back to two or three as people catch up as the troops catch up there you're not going back so and there are some missions that are going to take you this i think there's some that actually go longer than 12. so that that is very cool so anyway that is what is in the uh, warfighter footlocker uh looks awesome can't wait to play um and get back into this i mean i you know it's 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 a very well produced game it's very well thought out it's very well loved um and i think i've i've gotten a little better in the last year or so since I played it, uh, where I, um, I know what I like more, and, uh, the different types of games and stuff like that, so, um, looking forward to it, and I will, uh, do a more full board review of the game, uh, after I play it. Thanks, bye-bye.